University of North Dakota biology students are keeping tabs on an intriguing yet declining population of prairie chickens in Grand Forks County. They're going to all the historical leks in a three-year rotating program to look for prairie chickens. Uh, and they've also agreed to take on our, our sharp tail census block. Kohler says this is the third year UND biology students have been conducting surveys in Grand Forks County, and it's not unusual to see prairie chickens and sharp-tailed grouse dancing on the same lek. One is a partnership with North Dakota Game and Fish, which I think is a valuable thing. Um, but another really important part is uh, assisting us in training the next generation of wildlife professionals. So the students get valuable experience actually out here counting birds, um, tallying up the data, and helping to communicate that back to, to North Dakota Game and Fish. In mid-March is when students drive near the breeding grounds, get out every half mile, and listen for prairie chickens and sharp-tailed grouse dancing. On the 1st of April, um, they actually go back to all the places where they've located these dancing grounds or booming grounds for the, the sharp tails or the chickens and they'll count them. Feligi said students are in awe when they listen and watch the birds dance for the first time. It's been uh, educational, I would say. I've been learning a lot. I didn't know anything about prairie chickens or sharp tails before I started this. I know how they behave, how they do their, their little dancey dance <laughs> to attract their mates and so that's been very cool. Male prairie chickens dancing and displaying are certainly fun to watch and listen to. They have these cool pinier feathers or, or feathers that are right, right about where their ears would be that come up. And um, the males will have that stand up and then you see these big beautiful orange um, glowing almost air sacs uh, right, right on their neck. Um, and then what they do, they'll have their tail up. It's much more fan than a sharp tail. This research helps maintain a long tradition of upland game surveys. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.